I want to talk about the pros and cons of the way this turned out. Where I went wrong, and this is my fault entirely, was when I... Alrighty, so this is what we got, guys. I have been seeing a lot of videos lately on granny square shrugs. I have never made one before. In fact, I've never made a granny square before this one here. But I thought it would be a fun project to kind of change up the, the crosshatch that I've been doing so much of lately. What I'm using is the Lion Brand Mandela yarn here. This takes a five millimeter crochet hook. I am using a six because once again, I am double stranding it. This is something that I'm finding is very hard for me to get away from because, you know, there is something about the way the colors blend together and I, I need to see how, how they all play and interact. And so what the thought of using just one strand, I feel like, I feel like you're missing a golden opportunity, you know? I don't know. It's just, I'm an artist. I paint and stuff too. So it's like colors are huge and I just love to see how they interact with each other. So yeah, here we go. Double strands again. My very first granny square. This is called a fancy basic granny square. If you're interested in doing this, there'll be a link in the description. Um, and I know it's hard to see the details on why it's a slightly fancy basic because Every row is all blended here instead of being separate colors. So I want to take a picture of this yarn color because I think I'm going to have to buy more of it here. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't Ghidorah a Godzilla enemy? <laughs> Happy jazz music. Getting that from YouTube. This is how far one cake will get you. This is about a 33 inch square. Um, to do a whole, I need another, I need more. <laughs> and my more is coming in the mail because I am double stranding this. I'm just loving, loving the way the colors are blending together. It's just really interesting because when you look at these colors here, you're like, those are some pretty bold colors. Man, I don't know how that's going to play together. But you take two rolls of this and you blend it together and it really is neutral. It's not like bold and, oh God, that's too loud for me. Look how subtle these colors are when you mix them together. So this is one of those things about using double strands that really excites me. You know, just seeing how all those colors play with each other. So let me show you how you figure out the size that works best for you because this is a totally customizable pattern. All you do is you create your granny square, you know, and you just keep adding your rows till you get the size that you want. An ideal size for a shrug like this is about to your forearm. So it would end about here on either arm. I have it stretched out a little bit. But that's where I'm at right now, and I'm going to work on those side seams. I'll give you a close-up here in a second. I folded this in half, and I'm going to repeat this on both sides. I find my corner point here, which is a chain two space, and I am going to single crochet this all the way up about two-thirds here, which is then going to leave me my armhole. I'm also going to, at that point, crochet around a single crochet around the edge here to put a nice edging on it, too. All right, I'm gonna go do this. Let's see how it turns out. I just attached this with a single crochet about two thirds up and I left a hole in here for my hand. And I did that the same on this side over here. Okay. So that's where it gets sewn together. Now, if we keep moving it around a little bit, this is what it looks like when you're wearing it. Okay.
So in case somebody might have been having a hard time out there trying to figure out how this all comes together. So here you go. And so that's the basic construction of how it's put together. talk about the pros and cons of the way this turned out. For the most part, I'm very pleased with it. I love the body of it. I love the way all the colors kind of gradiate and blend into all the others. Where I went wrong, and this is my fault entirely, was when I did the edging around here, I did it too tight, not loose enough. And so in the back there, in the back and in the neck, it tends to have a little bit of cupping. So it almost makes a bowl effect. And, you know, I was talking to my daughter about it for a while and she had no problem with it. She's like, I wouldn't bother. She's like, I'd be happy to be wearing it around like that. And I was like, all right, maybe I'll just go ahead and leave it alone. But it's been eating at me because I don't think I'm going to use it if I don't fix it. And so I'm going to take out all of the edging, um, all of the edging around here today and redo it and let's get to work. very first granny square and my very first shrug yay i completed a project <laughs> and actually i'm quite pleased with the way it turned out because when i started it and i was looking at the videos i was like i don't know if this is something i'm ever going to use but i'm bored and i need to do something new you know i ran into a couple challenges with it i made my edging on it too tight i'm so glad i took it out and i loosened up the edging because now it just drapes so much more appropriately or properly it looks pretty now when it hangs like it should i didn't want to settle for the other so i'm glad i made the effort on that i'm really pleased with the way it turned out i think the colors are a beautiful blend um it's really a bad time of me and time of year for me to wear it right now because it's august but i think this is going to be something i end up using more than i would have thought there is something very comfy and cozy about it. And I can see what, you know, in the winter time when I'm just sitting there, you know, relaxing and watching TV or crocheting or, or whatever. But this is very comfortable just to wrap around. So I'm actually very pleased that I made this and I'm, you know, excited about being able to use it. You know, thank you again, you guys, for watching my videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Toodles.